As the nation prepares to say goodbye to the 39th president of the United States, we wanted to shine a spotlight on one of Jimmy Carter's best buddies. Joining us this morning is our presidential correspondent, Jimmy Alexander, with a story you're only going to see right here on DC News Now. Jimmy, take it away. Well, Matty Stepanek was such a special young man, and um, he had his little um, slogan was, Peace is Possible. And the best-selling uh, author, Matty Stepanek, Rockville, Maryland's pride and joy, and few people fit as much life into the 13 years as did Matty. Oprah called him one of her favorite guests. Jimmy Carter called him her best friend. And here's more about the president and the poet. Since the time Matty was very young, maybe five or six years old, he had admired President Carter, not necessarily as a president, but as a man of peace. But as Matty transitioned from a child with a disability that might die into a dying child, the hospital really tried to zone in on what were his final wishes. And one of them was to talk peace for 15 minutes with President Carter. And next thing you know, Jimmy Carter's calling Matty on the phone to talk for 15 minutes. And I think President Carter was surprised that this was not a dying child who wanted to talk about peanut farming or what it's like to die. It was a young man who had a passion for peace, just like he did. And that was the beginning of a beautiful friendship. I don't know whether Maddie was more proud of when he said, Jimmy, do you want to write the Just Peace book with me? Okay, and Jimmy said yes right away without even thinking. Or when President Carter was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize, and right after he received it, like literally right after he received it, he went outside, climbed a mountain, found a rock, and inscribed it and sent it to Maddie with a letter saying, I share this Nobel Peace Prize with you. Jenny, I know you dealt with health issues yourself, and President Carter was kind of a, a shoulder for you, too. Every morning that I had chemo, he would call me in the morning, and he would say, how's my sweetheart? You got this today. We're going to get through this together. You know, we're going to stay strong, because he was dealing with cancer at the same time. Most people would think at a funeral, Oprah showing up, she's going to be giving the eulogy. I found him to be magical. I could not believe so much wisdom, so much power, so much grace, so much strength and love could come from one 10-year-old little boy. I always joke with you, Oprah was the opening act for President <laughs> Carter. How did you tell Oprah, no, President Carter's? That, that was a tough one. <laughs> if there could have been dual eulogies, <laughs> there would have been, but you only give one. Maddie adored many people for many reasons. Oprah for her humanitarian work. But Jimmy Carter was who Maddie wanted to be when he grew up. And we have known uh, kings and queens. We've known presidents and prime ministers. But the most extraordinary person whom I have ever known in my life is Maddie Stepanek. Maddie's legacy is forever. impactful story Jimmy absolutely really, really really impactful story I mean the fact that he was 13 years old and carried that much wisdom at that age given all of the challenges that he had he, he certainly did but he always reminded people no matter what you're going through in your life no matter how dark it may be always play after the storm mm -hmm. and a lot of people play in the state of Maryland which normally it's National Peace Day because of Maddie Mm -hmm. and they have a big peace festival in Rockville, Maryland at King's Farm at the Maddie Stepanek Park. Um, and interestingly, you saw that picture of Maddie on the phone. Yeah. He had a little clipboard in the hospital bed. Yeah. Hospital bed. He was talking to Jimmy Carter in that picture, and he had a clipboard of things he wanted to cover with uh, wow. Jimmy Carter. And Jimmy Carter said, um, Maddie, I, this was only booked for 15 minutes. Can I call you back? Wow. And a lot of people may never have called back, but Jimmy Carter did, and that's why their friendship it started right there on that day. And that's why he's going to be remembered, and he already is remembered as such an incredible president when Absolutely. he was president and also after president. Can you tell us a little, a little bit about this box that you have up here real quick? Jim? Yes, um, during my years on the Jack Diamond Show here in Washington, D.C., Maddie Stepanek um, and Jenny, the, his mom, um, became very close with us. And one Christmas, we got this, and this is a little treasure box with a bunch of heart songs, which were the names of um, Maddie's poetry books. They were all best-selling, by the way. And um, they have little um, poems and little kind of uh, 
thoughts Fair that Maddie had. And quotes. Exactly. Well, I, I took one out there because I was reading several of them uh, during the story, Jimmy, and this one uh, stuck with me. Look out of your window and you will see beautiful things. You will see trucks and cars and flowers and plants and people. People are such beautiful things. And when we see the beauty of people, then we can truly see beyond the pain. I mean, incredible that a 13-year-old dealing with all of that wrote this and wrote that treasure box that you have right there. He was a one of a kind and um, hopefully he will be canonized. They're working on that right now to see yeah. if, they, you know, they believe that Maddie did create middle miracles. So he did. one day there will be St. Maddie. Yeah, we would love to see that, Jimmy. And real quick before you go, because you are such a big presidential buff, given that we are on the brink of, of hearing about a, a, f a, a former president passing mm -hmm. away, what do you think Jimmy Carter will be remembered most for? Oh, Jimmy Carter, and this is, um, you know, they ask who's the greatest president, and you normally will hear Roosevelt, Franklin Delano, um, Lincoln, or Washington. But few presidents have accomplished as much um, as Jimmy Carter post-presidency. And he really has set the blueprint for what presidents do and how they give back. And they still are in the um, public forum in helping create change and helping do good. And few people on the on face of God's green earth has, has done as yeah. much good as Jimmy Carter um, during his life. As he did both during and especially after uh, his time living at 1600 mm -hmm. Pennsylvania Avenue just down the street from our studio.